forward to it. <clears throat> it's Friday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And you know what they say. You know how it is, man. You're on call, or it's Friday, and sometimes the worst service calls come in. You know, dead compressor, frozen evaporator, uh, pain in the ass leak that you can't find. Um, uh, frozen coil, you spend two hours defrosting it, and then you find out you got a bad TXV, you gotta rush and get one or something. So, wish me luck. Let's see how this one is. Uh, hopefully, like I say, it's Friday. Hopefully, it's an easy call. So, let's go check it out. Alright, so we got uh, 33 degrees, the alarm's going off. Let's see? Ah, uh, let's see. I'm trying to reach in the back of that evaporator. Uh, it's not frozen. That's a good thing. Uh, liquid line's cold. Means the condenser's not on. Or at least it's not pumping free on. Damn thermostat. Oh shit. The thermostat's in the back, back here. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to get to. Oh, let's see. We got a liquid line's cold. Let me see if it's calling. Yeah, it's calling for cool. So I'm like, I can feel it. I feel the sunlight is calling for cool. Let's go on the roof and see what we got. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, we got a hot compressor. A fan that looks like it's spinning slow. And... <clears throat> Yeah. A fan motor that looks a little slow. A hot compressor that might be low voltage. Uh, it could be a bad fan motor and the compressor is going on and off on head pressure maybe. <clears throat> so let's see. Did you got at that fan? going on is because <clears throat> in the evaporator I don't know if you saw in the beginning of the video it was actually uh, a little bit of frost on the evaporator so that tells me the compressor was running but this fan is putting out very little air 
so it could be it might have a capacitor uh, but this motor I don't think so it looks like it's gonna be a bad fan and it's probably going off on head pressure and then uh, and then uh, uh, overheating the compressor but let's see what we get into I'm gonna check this fan. I'm actually surprised but <clears throat> We actually do have a capacitor in here. I'm gonna go ahead, take them out, and check them out. The three. Take the lead off, let it zero out. Let's check it again. 1.1, 1. 1. <clears throat> 1. 1 microfarads. So let's see. So it looks like it's going to be a bad capacitor on that condenser fan, causing it to, um, you know, run slow. cap we're looking for a 45 let's see let's see if we get a 45 out of it so out of a 45 we're getting a 44.8 44.8, not bad. So our run cap's good. Alright. And then instead of the tape, alright, so with the fan blowing on it and this rag, I was able to get the overload to close the internal overload. Uh, in the meantime, while I was waiting, I set up just uh, temporary. You know, so I had to go back, get a new motor, and come back to install it. So, 